What's up guys? So today what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna break down a grappling match that I saw on YouTube years ago, probably five, six, seven years ago, and it just happened to come up in my news feed the other day. And the title of this is Butt Scooter vs Wrestler in Grappling Tournament in Azerbaijan. So, a bit of a disclaimer, I don't even know the rule set of this competition. I just found it quite entertaining and I thought I would share. So, I'm going to try not to ramble on too much, but let's get right into the video. And the match is on. Okay, so, gets his grips, sits down, clearly wants to go to guard. Guy in red disengages and moves away, bit of an arm drag. The other guy lost his base, basically just got pushed over. Bit of a threat there to grab his leg, and the guy in the rash guard does not want to get slammed, so you can see how low his stance is. Basically just sat down, same thing there, got ragdolled, and trying to butt scoot in to get to some form of guard. Not in the strongest stance, exchanging collar ties in this position, and the wrestler goes for a snap down, same thing again, he just spot scoots in, trying to get underneath his partner's center of gravity to go to some form of guard, and completely flipped over and slammed. So, and clearly going for a guillotine submission in this position, and as he jumps, he picks him up, and he slams him. Damn! So yeah, like I said, uh, I have no idea about the rule set. You clearly would not be able to do that in a jiu-jitsu competition, in most of them anyway. At least getting uh, penalized, if not disqualified in most of them. And then, bit of a big, bit of confusion. Okay, gives a thumbs up to everybody, and good to keep going. So, the look on the referee's face, like I said, I'm not overly sure about what the hell is going on. I just found it quite entertaining, thought I might share. Okay, switch around. He's good to keep going, and the match is on again. Quite a low stance now. You can see after that he did, and touching his leg, like we do for the warm-up drill, staying quite low, but quite aggressive, so props off to him. There was an actual threat in there going for the leg. A couple of feints by the wrestler. A bit of hand fighting, kind of let him get into a decent position. Nice shot by the wrestler, and completely slammed. And there we go, the referee calls it. Um, props off to the referee for doing that. And the wrestler is a winner, but also good on the guy for putting himself in this position, this competition. Okay guys, so the big question is, is what do you feel the guy in the rash guard could have done differently to the wrestler in red? If anything that is. I'm not saying just to win, but to be more successful in this match. Maybe he could have shot in, pulled guard, went for a sweep, maybe went for, say, a flying armbar from the collar tie, or maybe some form of, say, Imanari roll to get underneath his opponent to go for a leg lock. Let me know in the comments below what you feel he could have done differently, if anything that is, against a wrestler in red. And guys, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest jiu-jitsu techniques, breakdown videos like this, upcoming jiu-jitsu courses, blogs, basically everything jiu-jitsu, make sure you follow the link in the description. I'll make sure I get that stuff sent out to you as soon as possible. And as always, have an awesome day. And until next time, 